what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the garage today we got a new project so today we got a new project today we got an interesting new project it's gonna be a mower and we're gonna make it into a mobile generator so let me just quickly show you what I'm working with and then we'll get started on that project all right so first things first we have this Murray lawnmower it's a four horsepower lawnmower and it should do the trick it's a cheap little thrift store find so hopefully it, for the components we're using I'm first starting out with this old heater I found and uh, we're gonna be gutting that out using that as basically our instrument panel next we have the generator it is DC 24 volt 500 watt 2600 rpm I also threw in this little buck converter and that should be taking whatever voltage is created from the lawnmower and that should spit out 24 volts for us I've got a couple of different uh, components that I found at the junkyard that came off of some industrial equipment that I thought kind of looked cool. So this is an old on-off switch, pretty basic. I think that'll look good on there. I have a 24 volt indicator light. Once the machine is switched on, this will indicate that there's 24 volts being produced. And then that 24 volts will go into this inverter, DC to AC inverter, 1000 watt, spits out 110 volts. And as you can see, made in the USA. So some of these components might be a little overkill, but I think it's gonna make the machine look pretty cool. Anyways, let's uh, rip apart that mower, take the blade off, and then see if we can put that generator on there. To start out, we need to remove the blade of the lawnmower and replace it with a pulley. I used a torch to make the prop easier to remove. Next, I begin making a mount for our generator motor. Since I'm an idiot and don't know how to measure, I had to make several different holes. Next, using the sprocket that came with the motor, I weld the pulley to it. Although these welds look like pigeon sh they get the job done. Once the generator is mounted, I find a belt that will fit both the prop of the engine and the generator. I then weld the mount directly to the lawnmower. This lawnmower is now ready to generate some electricity. All right guys, so we have the generator in place. I'm gonna turn on the mower and see what kind of voltage we get before we proceed. This is an example of the light bulb plugged directly into the generator. Okay guys, as you saw, this puppy hit about 42 volts. That's about to be expected. It's rated for 2600 RPM and this probably spins at about uh, 29 or something, 3000. And not only that, but the pulley on the engine is actually bigger than the pulley on the motor, allowing it to spin quite a bit faster. So all we need to do is rip open this guy right here and start making our little control panel. First, I take the guts out of this little heater. I mark up the areas where I want my components. I then completely ignore what I just did and then put the components in random spots. Well, it's kind of coming along in the back end of things. I'm just trying to figure out how I wanted to wire this thing. It's getting kind of complicated and uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Next, I begin soldering all the components together. I won't lie guys, it kind of looks like I'm making a bomb in here. I then finish all the soldering. Let's pray that this bodged engineering actually works. Guys, check it out, we have the control panel all set up. Okay, so here's how it works. Basically, this is going to be our main on and off switch. So you're going to flip that on and then this green light is gonna show up. That's signifying we have 12 volts going to the inverter. Okay, so once you power on the AC, you should see the voltage being produced and then the amperage of the outlets that are being used. So there you have it. You can just press that button and it turns off the AC power and then turn that bad boy off, turns everything off. Once I'm happy with the function of the unit, I then set up the plugs. 
I also include a USB charger for my phone. You can see right here on the display, we are drawing about eight milliamps and then uh, we are doing only 90 volts. So I'm thinking that battery charger isn't packing enough punch to get this thing going. Here's the light, it's plugged in right here. It draws about half an amp. Hopefully once I get it on the lawnmower, it will keep up with the amperage and all that good stuff. For the last bit of this project, I make a snazzy exhaust. Then, like a kindergartner, I crappily paint our new generator. For the first test of this generator, I actually put a sponge under the control panel and then duct taped it to the frame just to see what the vibrations would do. Later on, I'll permanently fix the control panel to the frame. A series of two relays keep this button illuminated after pressed. Another relay allows the AC to flow from the inverter to the output sockets once the button is pressed. The USB output is very convenient to charge your phone or other USB devices. When using a device, there's always a peak amperage when you first start it. It then usually levels off to something lower. And there you have it. It might look like something you find at your crackhead neighbor's house, but it sure does do the job. Thanks for watching.